Since more and more digital media such as DVDs, educational CDs, and MP3s are likely to be more prominent in your classroom as technology is integrated, it's helpful to know what tools can aid you in using multimedia. Examples of such tools include Real Player, Windows Media Player, and Core Media Player, all of which are called multimedia players or simply media players. For the steps in this lesson, however, we'll focus on Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player, as with many other media players, can be used to view DVDs and digital video files. It gives you access to all of the enhanced features of DVDs, including subtitles and menus, right from a computer. For instance, in a class equipped with a computer and a data projector, a teacher wanting to teach drug awareness could show a number of educational DVDs about the topic. Or, an English teacher could show the movie rendition of George Orwell's Animal Farm after the class has read the book. How well clips or DVDs play will depend on the speed and memory of the computer. A high school history teacher could supplement a unit about the American political climate of the 1960s by showing movies that reflect the turmoil of the time. Students could be grouped at different computer stations, each of which could show portions of movies like Malcolm X, Full Metal Jacket, or Kennedy. Each group could later prepare and present a presentation to the class about the particular subject they were assigned. You're beginning a unit about learning theories, and you have video clips that may enhance your instruction. To get an idea of how the clips look, you'll preview one of the shorter clips in Windows Media Player before you show it to your class. We want to preview a clip on Ivan Pavlov to possibly use in conjunction with a lesson on behaviorist learning theory. Once we double-click the video clip icon on the desktop, Media Player will open and play the clip. As the clip plays, notice the Seek slider and the elapsed time at the bottom of the player's window, which show how far into the clip we are. Also, make note of the pause, stop, and other playback control buttons. Ivan Pavlov made famous what would later be called classical conditioning. In his experiments, he would ring a bell when he fed the dogs he was studying. Eventually, the dogs learned to associate the ringing bell with food, and so would begin drooling whenever a bell was rung, even in the absence of food. As we saw, Windows Media Player automatically opened and played the clip when we double-clicked the clip's icon. This is because our computer has been set to open such files in Windows Media Player by default. If your computers have other multimedia players installed, such as Real Player, you can specify which player to use as the default. Remember, you can view larger digital video files or even a DVD with media players like Windows Media Player. They also let you play CDs and audio files, as well as copy music directly to a CD. For example, in a music class, you could play CD compilations of classical composers to introduce students to music from a particular era. All in all, whether you need to work with video or audio, media players can help. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.